Hello and good afternoon. This is Dr. Ayan Mukhopadhyay. I am a practicing gynecologist in your own city that is Calcutta and I am the host for this channel where we discuss the common fertility and gynecology issues regarding women and women's health. So today I would like to draw the attention to a very common part of the most common problem in a woman during her fertility life that is fibroid or uterine tumor or myoma that is called. So this is some finding that generally we diagnose in a ultrasound and ultrasound done for some other purpose because the most commonly the myoma or fibroid which is there in your uterus is going to have no symptoms and it is perhaps going to be diagnosed by a USG done for some other purpose. So fibroid is a very common perhaps the most common abnormality or it is disease of the uterus that is diagnosed in a woman and it covers a large number of women of reproductive age group. That's why it has gotten importance in your life. So keep listening to what is a fibroid and what are the solutions that you are looking forward to if you are diagnosed ever with this disease. And so first let me begin with what is a fibroid. A fibroid or a myoma is an overgrowth related to hormonal stimulation of the muscle structure with which the uterus is made up of. The uterus is made up of a layer of muscle called smooth muscle cells. These are spindle shaped long cells which contain a nucleus and which are in communication to each other and which have under the influence of hormones estrogen and progesterone and they actually can grow to multiple sizes and at the same time multiple number of cells can undergo transformation into multiple fibroids or myomas in the same woman in the same uterus. So one woman can look forward to having one or more than one fibroids at the same time. These are arising from different different cells and maybe of different sizes and locations. So the two things are important about the fibroid that you are having. One is the location location in relation to where and which part of the uterus the fibroid is located and the size size in relation to how many centimeters and where it is located so first we would like to come about the location now figo has that is the gynecologist association has classified the location of fibroid into nine categories first starting from something which is disturbing the inner lining of the fibroid that would be grade zero that is completely inside the lining of the uh, uterine cavity that is the endometrium. So that is very disturbing. This thing can cause uh, problems related to menses, amount of blood loss, the dates of your menses as well as problems related to fertility, conception, implantation etc. The next stage would be some part of the fibroid is inside the uterine cavity and the maximum part is inside and small part is outside the uterine cavity inside the muscle structure. This is also going to be problemsome. The next step would be some part of the fibroid, the smaller part is inside the uterine cavity and the maximum part is outside that is inside the muscle structure. This is also problemsome. Every type of fibroid is uh, or category which is creating some problem with the inner lining of the uterus is going to create problem regarding bleeding, blood loss, dates of your menses and conception. The Another type would be the fibroid is completely located inside the muscle structure of the uterus that is called intramyometrial. Myometrium is your body of the uterus and intramyometrial is located inside the muscle structure of the uterus. Now think about going outwards. Now some part of it is inside the myometrium and some part of it is outside the uterus. From that stage another stage can be another location can be completely outside the uterus just hanging from the uterus with a small pedicle and that is also possible and then comes the location according to it, whether it is in front of the uterus, whether it is in the back side of the uterus, whether in the side of the uterus, whether in 
actually very uncommon locations like the broad ligament round ligament cervical that is the lower part of the uterus this type of uncommon locations for the fibroid this is also possible but most commonly you will be facing something around the first nine steps that i told you that is either inside the uterine cavity or inside the muscle structure of the uterus or completely outside the uterus just hanging outside so this can be the location now coming to the size sizes can be anything from just one uh, grain of pulse to a big football size and sizes can also be multiple that is something is of the size of apple something of the size of a ping pong ball something of the size of a marble something of a size of a pulse this can be combination also and located in different directions and different locations so we can look forward to n number of permutation and combinations of sizes and locations now why this is important to know because every type of location and size is going to have a bearing on what symptoms it is going to cause though the most common fibroid is a very small one and detected in a unfortunate situation where the usg is being done ultrasound is being done for some other purpose and the fibroid has been there for many years and has been silent for many years silent in the sense that it has not caused any problem to the person who is carrying the fibroid so the most common symptom of a fibroid is it is asymptomatic that is it has got no bearing in the life of the woman that is the most common tumor that we are looking forward to and then if the most common symptoms are graded according to what is most common first i told you it is asymptomatic second thing can be it can cause a difficulty in bleeding that is the amount of blood loss the dates of blood loss that can be out of sync for that woman and then the next common symptom is that there can be pain or heaviness in the lower abdomen or pain during menses or uh, there is a uh, constant dragging pain sensation in the lower abdomen or it can cause frequency of urination that the woman is going to attend washroom many number of times in hourly basis and then these types of problems regarding the pressure symptoms that we call that is the lower abdominal heaviness because of the size that uterus has become that is why it is causing heaviness in the lower abdomen this can be the symptoms and then ultimately if some woman is trying to get pregnant and is not able to get pregnant and then the usg is done showing that there is a tumor according to the location the gynecologist will be able to decide whether the infertility or the problem to conceive is due to the fibroid or not but such situation can occur that the fibroid is there but the infertility or problem with conception is not due to the fibroid though the fibroid is there but it is inconspic inconspicuous and that is not disturbing the fertility fibroid is sitting there as just like that and the cause of the infertility or subfertility is something else that is what we most commonly find and the fertility or uh, infertility is subscribed to that fibroid wrongly ascertained to uh, that fibroid the doctor will tell you that this fibroid is causing the infertility and so let's first get the fibroid removed no that is wrong most commonly the type of fibroid you will be having is not disturbing you not dis neither disturbing your fertility potential so go and have a second opinion about this fibroid before going for an operation it is my request to you that whatever you are doing to your body Please know about what is there, what is not there, what is important. Otherwise, what will happen is that you will get your fibroid removed, but then still you will not be able to get, become pregnant because the cause of the infertility was not the fibroid. So let your doctor decide whether the fibroid is causing any problem actually or not. Then only go for the treatment of the fibroid. Now the treatment of the fibroid is a completely big issue, which I'll need to begin in another topic please keep on liking the channel and subscribing to the channel and follow the next video for the treatment of fibroid according to size location and problem thank you